how was it for UNICEF to align to the SDGs and were there any projects that came out of the SDGs in order to drive progress? Okay, if I could just go back for one second. In, um, in the late 1980s, we had a rather visionary executive director who gathered together the countries of the world and it was at, the, at its time, it was the largest gathering of heads of state ever. And they established goals for children for the year 2000. This is basically from 1990 to 2000. And there were very specific goals and they were mostly centered on child survival. So vaccination rates, it was not so much on protection and not so much on education, they were there. Very focused on child survival and health because that's what the world needed at the time. That was the first of its kind of global goals, but it was only for children and it was very focused on survival. Following that, many other agencies, which I won't go into now, did similar gatherings and, and set, set, started setting similar goals. Then the world came together in 2000 and said these are the Millennium Development Goals. And it was an interesting time to be working in UNICEF because it caught UNICEF off guard because UNICEF was so proud that we had global goals and no one else had global goals and suddenly everyone had global goals and our goals were at the very core of the Millennium Development Goals. They, children were in every single one. It was, it, but it's, it was because the agenda UNICEF was driving and because the world needs to, we must respect children's rights for the future, for sustainability. Now we're in the SDGs. It's a much broader set of goals. We've included much more effectively things like the environment, which were completely missing. It has a very interesting phenomenon, which I adore, which is the millennium, the, the goals for children and the millennium development goals were only for poor countries, for developing countries. The rich countries were not part of those goals. The SDGs are for everyone. And I, that is, it's a different ball game. So now you have rich governments and big companies much more concerned about it because it's the SDGs. But as you say, you can pick any of the SDGs and I can explain to you how it relates to children because it's impossible to have a sustainable development goal that isn't premised on the fact that we need children to have these opportunities to reach that goal. So UNICEF again is caught a little bit off guard but in a very positive way that the world has goals that are now much more aligned with the Convention on the Rights of the Child because it is for every child.